So how do we get out of this estate? Say it again, sir. Exactly. Serve our God and keep his commandments. That's right. Hey, bro, so what did you learn? What you learn, sis? Willie. Willie. You learned something? Yeah, I learned I got to make sure you learn before you leave now. Yeah. What you learned? Huh? What did you learn? I learned that that's not my God. <laughs> okay, well, what's your nationality? Huh? What's your nationality? No. No, 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 no. You're not black? What's your nationality, sis? Um, Israel. 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 What tribe are you from? Uh, the Twelve tribes of Judah. Which one? Um. Which tribe are you from? You got a fly? No, I don't need a fly. Judah. So, so where, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Where would your father be considered? Where would your father be considered today? A so-called American, black, uh, Jamaican, West Indian, uh, Haitian, Cuban, so-called American, black. How about you? Okay, well, according to the Bible, you would be from the tribe of Judah. Oh, that's right. right. You are what your father is, according to the Bible. You got it? Right. Read it. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. Yeah. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. So it's telling, this about to tell you how they assembled the congregation, how they showed the, who the people were. Come on. And they declared their pedigree. You know what the pedigree is? Yeah. What's that? Like the bloodline. The bloodline, right. I'm sorry, what's your name, sis? Queen. Queen. What's your name, sis? Asia. Say it again. Asia. Asia. Okay, I'm Elisha. Willie, Queen, and Asia, right? Okay, all right, come on. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So they declared their bloodline how? Their by the house of their fathers, right, because the man carries the seed. So you are what your father is, all right? So don't say that you're black, because you're an Israelite according to the Bible. Right. That's right. We call ourselves black because of the philosophies of that man right there. Right. You understand? But to understand this too. This is part of the curses that was put upon our people, that we will be known by Proverbs and Bowers, that Bowers is another name. Right. You understand? Watch this. Deuteronomy 28, just go straight to it. Uh, Proverbs by words. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Yeah. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So we have become an astonishment. That's a great amazement. These other nations know who we are. They know that we're Israelites. It's an amazement to them that we accept being called a dang on color in the crayon box. Right. That we accept calling each other nigga. What's up nigga, what you doing? It's an amazement that our men walk around with their pants hanging off their butt. It it's an amazement that our women walk around with their bodies showing. Right. Bring it out. You understand this? Come on. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Uh -huh. A proverb. A proverb. That's that wise saying. Niggas always late. Want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a buck. What's, what's the so-called Hispanic man in a suit? A defendant in the courtroom. You understand? These are the things that they say about us. When God said that we the greatest people ever walked this planet Earth. But we've become an astonishment, a great amazement because we accept what our oppressors gave us. Come on. And a byword. And a byword. That's a name outside of your God-given name. God said that you are the children of Israel. Israel, you got you have power with the most high God, Prince of the power of God. Wouldn't you rather be called that than an uh, African-American? Wouldn't you rather be called Judah? Praise it. Man, come on. Than be called black? Wouldn't you rather be say that I, I'm, 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 I'm the praise of God than to say that I'm black? No. The way that they do these things, they call us black and call themselves white. Why? Because it's to help make you be complacent with a docile state of mind. You know. We don't. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall leave thee. So no matter where we go, this, these curses follow. He said it'll pursue you. So over here, we're niggas. 
Over in China, we niggas. Over in Australia, we niggas. No nation like us. No nation has ever liked us. You know why? Because God said we the greatest people ever walked this planet. Huh? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Watch this. Don't take my word for it. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said we're a holy people unto him. What does it mean to be holy? Hold that, give me the verse 6, 7, 26. What do you think it means when God said we are holy unto him? Okay, let's see what the Bible says what it means to be holy. Come on. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 26. Bring it out. And you shall be holy unto me, for the I, the Lord, am holy. So he said, ye shall be holy unto me. He's still talking about the children of Israel. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of the day. Come on. And have severed you from... Let's read it again. And have severed you from other people. So he said he severed us from other people. If I was to sever your arm from your body, what does that mean I did? I've separated your, your arm from the rest of your body. So the Most High God has separated us from the other nations, right? Right. Come on. Yeah. And has severed you from other people that you should be mine. He did that to say that you are mine. So he said, you know what? These are my people. They are nothing. Go back to 7 and 6. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Yeah. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Lord has separated you from all the other nations. You're holy, you're special unto the Most High God. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. What's going on, sis? Let me ask you a question. If God had a choice, I mean, if he chose you above other people, what does that mean he had? That means he had other options, correct? So, in fact, he had 17 other options because there's 18 nations on this planet Earth. But he said, out of those, I've chose these people to be my people. Right. He said to be what? The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So he chose you to be special unto him. That's like you having more than one pair of shoes, right? But you got this one specific pair. You only wear them when you're trying to step out and you want to be looking good. Because they look good, right? Now, if somebody was to step on them shoes, you might be a little angry about that. But then you got another pair that you are working. You don't care what happened. You step in some crap, you don't care. Nah, this is other shoes. You understand? This is how the Most High God feel about you. This is how the Most High God feel about you. He said you are a special people. You're not just special, but just special unto him. The God that created the heavens and earth. He, you're special to the one true God. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. You got to read what it say right there. Come on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. How does God feel about you? Um, he thinks you're almost like you're above, well. What did the scripture say? I ain't no almost. Above what did the scripture say? Don't be scared. You are above all. Above God all chose people. you to be above what? Above all people. Above all people on the face of the earth. That's how special you are to God. Shouldn't that mean something to you? Now you got to ask yourself. Well, if we, he chose us to be above all nations, why are we not actually above? Why, why, are not we, why are not the other nations serving us? What's the answer to that? Um, because of this right here. Um, having a... I guess being brainwashed throughout the years, and I guess with war, if you're a special people, you're gonna have so many people against you because you're of high. Okay, I need. So what did we do to cause all of this stuff upon us? Believe in God. Say that again. Believe in God. 
We that's believe in God, and that's what caused all this stuff to come upon us? Yeah, because everybody have a certain God that they believe in, and our God don't corrupt our minds like other people with other gods. So, so it's a God I'm, that I'm going to show you what we did to cause this great evil to come upon us. Because I got to make sure you understand who you are, what you are, and why you're in the position that you're in, and how to get the heck up out of this. Right? right. You wasn't meant to stay in this estate. Deuteronomy 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. Statement. You said everybody got a God they serve, right? Watch this. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Lord our God is the God of Israel, correct? That's our God. So if we did not serve our God, we did not listen to his words and do what? To observe the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, before he said that, he said, if we did not do these things, if we did not keep these commandments, that all these curses will come upon us. What's one of those commandments? Deuteronomy 20 and 3. Because you made us, I mean Exodus 20 and 3, I'm sorry. You said everybody got a God, they said, what's going on bro, you been doing all right? What's been up man? What? I gotta catch my ride on the other side. You gotta catch your ride on the other side. No. Alright, man. Hey, you better check that fly out, man. Alright. Make a change. So you say everybody got a God they serve. Let's see what God say about us serving other gods. What we should do and what we shouldn't do. Come on. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. What did God say? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Guess what? When we was captive in Egypt, we were serving other gods. Some of us was forced, then some of us just, you know what? I like that. <laughs> Guess what? We still do that crap today. Some of us understand that our God is the God of Israel. Some of us is just happy serving this guy over here. Some of us are happy serving the stars. What they call that crap? Astrology. Zodiac crap. Some of us are happy with that crap. The scriptures tell you, why are you going to worry about that stuff and why not even think about the person that created it? We serve the God that created this other crap. So, this great evil came upon us because we didn't do what? Serve. Serve. We didn't serve our God and keep his commandments, right? So the results of that, now we serve our enemies in one of our things, right? So how do we get out of this estate? Our God, we serve our God if we commandments. Say it again, sir. We serve our God if we commandments. Exactly. Serve our God and keep his commandments. That's right. Deuteronomy 30. Let me do Deuteronomy 30 and 1. Watch. Yo, Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 1. Yo, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse. Because we had the blessings under King David, King Solomon. Right? We had the blessings. The other nations was, was, was coming to us. You understand? Then he said all the curses. We're suffering that now. So all of these things have come to pass. Come on. Which I have set before thee. What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? What? Don't I know you? I know you, man. I know, I know, I know you from somewhere. Yeah. What's your name? Kevin. Say it again. Kevin. 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 Yeah. I, don't, I think we used to work together or something like that. You know your nationality, bro? Oh, yeah. What's your nationality? I'm black. black. Oh, come on, man. No. You ain't black. You better than that. Right. I'm better than that. Heck yeah. You should be proud to understand that you're better than that. Listen. You ever heard of Moses? Yeah. You ever heard of uh, King David? Yeah. You ever heard of Paul in the Bible? Yeah. You descend from those people. That's right. Those people 
come from the tribe of Israel, the 12, one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Moses came from the tribe of Levi, that'd be the so-called Haitians today. King David came from the tribe of Judah, that's the so-called American blacks. Uh, Paul came from the tribe of Benjamin, that'd be the so-called West Indians, those of the Caribbean islands and so forth. The children of Israel are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. How we know that? Because it was prophesied certain things would happen to them. Come look at these flyers. Look at the flyer you got. These things were prophesied to happen to our people. Did this happen to your ancestors? Did they have yokes of iron on their neck? Did they go into slavery by way of ship? Were they sold on auction black or auction blocks? Did that happen to your people? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Guess what that means? I mean, you're the greatest people ever walked this planet Earth. Right now, what we're showing, what I'm showing my sister here and my sister here is how we're going to get out of this estate. What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? How you think we can get out of the estate that we're in right now? You want to learn? Come, I'm about to show you how we're going to get out of this estate. Okay? The so-called black Spanish and Native Americans are the children of Israel. God said because we didn't keep his commandments that we would have curses come upon us. They will follow us and they will be upon our seas forever. Right? Today, we're suffering those curses. Cursed in the city, cursed in the field. That's us. Now I'm about to show you how we're going to get out of this. Read this again. Yo, Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee. The blessing and the curse which I have set before thee. He said it before this because he prophesied by the mouth of Moses that if we keep the commandments that we will be set above all nations. That they will come and serve us. They will give us tribute. If we didn't, we would serve our enemies in one of all things, meaning in lack of all things. So we, we had the blessings under under uh, King Solomon, King David, King Saul. We had the blessings, right? Now we're suffering the curses. He said, when these things come to pass, come on. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations where the Lord thy God have driven thee. So that's what we're doing today. We're calling this to mind to all of our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that they are the children of Israel. They make up the greatest nation known to man. Matter of fact, we the people that everybody want to be. You don't believe so? Go ask the man that's over there in Israel today calling himself an Israeli, a Jewish man. Who he want to be? He want to be us. Because we the greatest people ever walked this planet. That's right, that's right. Come on. And shall return unto the Lord thy God. What he's talking about, meaning in return, repent. Repentance. Because the reason we went into this was because of what? We didn't do what? We didn't sin. We did sin. We didn't keep the commandments. Because sin is the transgression of God's laws. Okay? Come on. And shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Thou and thy children with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So to obey him means to keep his commandments. He didn't say just us, but our children too. Because guess what? It's a commandment that we teach our children as well. Because the reason why we think this bastard was a God, that this was our savior, why? Because it was taught to our people who taught their children. You ever heard of Willie Lynch's letter? How to make a slave? He goes through the breakdown of what they did to our people. He said, take the woman and, and beat every bit of bee out of her. The way she'll be in co complete submission to you. Because what she's going to do is she's going to teach her children how to be submissive. Gonna teach the young man how to be strong but weak minded. That's what you see today. That's what you see on these corners right now. A bunch of weak minded men scared to stand up for the most high God. But what you see in front of you are men that's not gonna bow down to them bastards. Men that's gonna stand women too. Okay, all right, you still got some stuff to do now. You say it. God said he, he go by actions. All right. I ain't counting you out. Come on. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee. So he said he's going to turn that captivity. What does that mean? That means he's going to take us out of this estate that we in. And he's going to put us back on top where we supposed to be. That's right. Come on. And will return and gather thee from all the nations where the Lord thy God has scattered thee. 
that's when Christ come back. He's going to gather us from all nations because one of the curses is that we will be scattered throughout the world. You understand? From one corner to the next. That's why you got a bulk of us here. You have remnants of us in Australia, remnants of us in Africa, remnants of us in Europe, Asia. You understand? He's going to gather us from all of these places to what? Put us back where we're supposed to be. Come on. If any of thine be driven out unto the outermost parts of heaven, from this will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from this will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed. That's, that was, that's our homeland, Jerusalem, according to Galatians 4 and 26. Go. He said, Jerusalem is above is free. That's our motherland. That's our home. So he's going to put us back in our land, the land he promised to our forefathers, right? I, won't, I think it's verse 7. Give me some, verse 7. Verse 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies. So when you read verse 48, it says that our enemies are the ones we're going to serve in the one of all things. And he's, matter of fact, get it real quick. Get real, 28 and 48, real quick. Pay attention. The Most High God is very brilliant in how he do things. Because even though our heritage would be taken from us, our nationality would be taken from us, he left clues for us to understand who we are. Right. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. On, Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Lord sent our enemies against us for us to serve because we didn't want to serve him. In high. hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. In want of all things, meaning in lack of all things. We serve them for food, water, clothing. We serve them for a driver's license, the ride the bus, transportation, you understand? These are the people. Our enemies is who is going to be providing these things for us, who we have to work for, who we have to do these things. Just in case you was confused, he left one more clue for you. Come on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Said our enemies will put yokes of iron upon our neck. What nation of people put yokes of iron upon our neck? Yeah, what people put yokes of iron on our forefathers' necks? Say it again. Go back to Deuteronomy 30 and 7. Go. So let's Go. see. Because we the ones that suffer these curses right now, right? No other nation can say they've been through the stuff that we've been through. Go. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 7. Bring it out. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies. Upon who? Upon thy enemy. That's upon who? Right. Upon thy enemy. That's all right. of the curses that we suffer today are going upon our enemies. Because guess what? It wasn't just the so-called white man that had us in captivity. It was every other nation under the sun. Right. That's right. That's right. So, in order for us to have this happen, what, what, what must we do? We must repent. First Kings 8. First Kings 8. I'm going to show you how to repent. Because no longer should you call yourself black. Calling yourself black is like calling yourself a nigga. Calling yourself an African American is like calling yourself a nigga. What you call yourself? You call yourself a nigga to the fullest. That goddamn, our people are so retarded. We both got a damn mind to think that it's okay to call ourselves other than what God called us. Man, give me this. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. That's where that bomb was created. Come on. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. So he's talking about the children of Israel. If we sin against the Most High God, and there's none of us that can say we have not sinned. Come on. Hold up. What's sin? It's an act. What action? Ignorance. Ignorance? What's sin, bro? You don't know? All right. Real quick. What's sin? Go against God's will. Go against God's will. That's a good answer. That's a good. What's your name, bro? William. William. What's your name, bro? Carlos. Carlos? I mean, likes you. All right? Watch this. First John chapter 3 verse 4 Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law For sin is the transgression of the law Sin is what? The transgression of the law So transgression means the breaking of or going against So sin is the what? 
Of God's law, okay? All right, so back where we was at. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. All of us have committed sin, come on. And thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemies far or near. Was God angry with us? How you know? Right, he said that we that we would be scattered throughout the lands of our enemies. Right. So that's how you know for a fact that God was angry with us. Come on. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. Yet, if we shall remember who we are. If we shall remember that we are the children of Israel. From the tribes of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, on forth. Come on. In the land where the, they were carried captive. Right here in America or wherever else we're serving our other enemies. Come on. And repent. And do what? And repent. That's that return he was talking about in Deuteronomy 30. Right. Repent. Come back to the Most High God's laws as an Israelite. Come on. And make supplication unto thee. That's an earnest begging or earnest plea unto the Most High God saying what? And the land of them that carried them captives saying, we have sinned. So we have to actually confess what our sin was. I, I shaved my beard off. I didn't know according to Leviticus 21 and 5 I'm not supposed to cut off my beard. Right. As a woman, I didn't know in Deuteronomy 22 and 5 that I'm not supposed to wear pants. You have to confess these sins to the Most High God. You right. didn't know that you shouldn't have blonde in your hair. That that's a plague unto the Most High God. That yeah. makes you unclean. Come on. And have done perversely. Uh, we have committed wickedness. We committed all types of wicked and perverse things. Fornication, adultery, so forth. Read. And so, return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul. With all of our mind and with all we got. Come on. And the land of their enemies which led them away captives and pray unto thee toward their land. Pray towards our land, Jerusalem. Galatians 4 and 26. Come on which thou gavest unto their fathers, uh -huh. the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. Come on. Then hear thy prayer. Then God is going to hear our prayers. Then after all of us have done that, once a third of us have done it here, and 144,000 men have stood up to do these things, no. then God will in our prayers and turn this captivity. That's right. So you must no. repent in order to get out of this situation. Right. It starts with you. It starts with you. You have to be that example to the other people. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.